Do you need a VPN? I don't know. I've never met you. Uh, so I'm going to have to give you the information you need to make that decision for yourself. I'm not going to scaremonger you into it like a lot of people will because they want to sell it to you. I'm going to tell you everything that a VPN does and the kinds of things you might use it for, and then you can decide for yourself. When I was a kid, they used to call the internet the information superhighway, and that's actually a pretty good way of looking at it. Because I'm an idiot, and I need uh, physical things in order for my brain to work. So if you imagine every time you ask for a web page, what happens is a car goes and fetches it for you through a series of roads, that's pretty much exactly what's happening. So when you use the internet normally, if you go to a CD website, uh, the first thing that happens is your car goes to your router, uh, your router says, to get to that CD website, you need to go to Virgin Media, first of all, because they're your internet service provider. And then Virgin Media says, OK, well, that CD website is over there. Go go fetch your web page, you dirty, dirty pervert. Uh, your web page comes back in exactly the same way, and everybody knows what you did. Everybody knows that you're looking at pictures of Paul from Paul Hub. <coughs> So the idea of a VPN is that it tunnels the traffic. They literally call it that. And what happens is your car tunnels under the ground uh, through your router and through your internet service provider to get to uh, your VPN supplier. Everyone can see what you did after that, but it's too late for them. Then they don't know where you came from because you came from a VPN supplier. So when you go and fetch your dirty, filthy web page from your dirty, filthy web page provider, uh, and it comes back to your computer, it came to you via Ivacy VPN, for example, or whoever your VPN supplier is, and nobody knows you did it. Uh, that is what a VPN does. So I only need a VPN if I'm a naughty boy doing naughty things? No. Uh, so there are lots of reasons, and of course privacy is one. If you're planning on doing bit torrenting or streaming of illegal media, or you're trying to download from a website which perhaps you shouldn't be visiting, uh, those things are, of course, going to be protected by your VPN. But I first learned about VPNs when I worked at a business internet service provider for 10 years. Businesses rely on these things really heavily because what they do is they encrypt your data and hide it from everybody, which of course in business is an important thing. One example for you might be if you go to an airport and you log on to what you think is the airport's Wi-Fi, you might actually be logging on to somebody's Wi-Fi hotspot that has been deliberately set up to look like the airport's Wi-Fi because they want to steal your credit card uh, and your banking information and all that stuff. Wow. What the VPN does is it tunnels your traffic beyond their hotspot and then out onto the internet. And then as it comes back in again, it tunnels it back through to your computer. So even if you do log onto their hotspot, you're just using their data and it serves them right. So it's hiding things like your banking information from people at the airport. Big deal. Um, obviously, there are lots of other applications to this. If you are going to a hotel, you're going to have the same problem there, potentially. Uh, if you go to a dumb friend's house who has not secured his Wi-Fi, you're probably going to have the same problem there. But more importantly, can you actually trust your own ISP? The answer is no. <laughs> no, you probably can't trust your ISP. They are a business just like any other, and if they want to try and sell you stuff, or they want to be able to sell your information to other people, depending on what country you're in, there's no law against it. They can just sell your information to somebody else to make some more money, and that's what businesses do. The second reason is a hot topic. It's something called net neutrality, and you'll see it all over the internet. People going, oh, net neutrality, that's a big important thing. Uh, basically, what net neutrality is, it's where your ISP decides for you what should run quickly and what should run slowly. This is to make the most of their available bandwidth at their end and save them money. When I used to work at this ISP previously, we used to throttle the hell out of BitTorrent traffic and anything that we felt was not business related. If it wasn't business related, it ran like poo. Um, if it was business related, it had plenty of headroom because we had throttled those things and we didn't have to buy a load of bandwidth from British Telecom because we were cheap scum. Uh, so your ISP may or may not be cheap scum. Either way, they are deciding for you which types of traffic should run quickly and which types of traffic should run slowly. Now, if you're using a VPN, they don't know. All they know is that you are using a VPN traffic, and they know that businesses use VPN traffic, and so probably shouldn't slow that down. Everything that you do inside that VPN is your business, not theirs. 
If you are a dirty, filthy pirate, you're probably going to get caught if you don't have a VPN. The reason is that the people that upload these movies and TV shows for you to download uh, are tracking your IP address via what they call a tracker. So the tracker's job is to monitor all of the IP addresses that are downloading those files, which isn't really a big deal for you unless, of course, the people that uploaded the movies or TV shows are the people that made the movies and TV shows. <laughs> So the people that make the movies and TV shows actually put out booby traps. They put out movies and TV shows that they can then track your IP address and then report you to your internet service provider, which is not good. I guess an IP VPN will help you overcome that. I wouldn't recommend it. It's illegal. Here in the UK, if I want to watch Star Trek Discovery, I just open up Netflix and watch it because one, I have a Netflix subscription, and two, it's been licensed here. Uh, if you're in America, it has not been licensed to Netflix America, and you can't watch it. Uh, would you like to watch it, America? You shouldn't, because it's rubbish. But if you do want to watch Star Trek Discovery in the States, you can use a VPN to tunnel to a server in the UK. And if you tunnel to the server in the UK, Netflix doesn't know you're in America. They think you're in the UK, and they'll let you watch it. Simple as that. Uh, you, this is, of course, true of any server. So if you wanted to watch something from Japan and you're not in Japan, you could tunnel through to Japan. And if you have the means to watch something in Japan, you can watch it. They can't stop you because they don't know that you're not in Japan. So VPNs are perfect and everyone should get one, right? Of course not. They're only going to be relevant to you if you're interested in the whole net neutrality arguments or you are specifically uh, concerned about your privacy and that sort of thing, uh, or you are interested in viewing content from another country where you can't in this country. They are the three main reasons to get a VPN. Uh, that said, I need to point out that it will slow you down a little bit. So if you are connecting over more roads or longer roads, it takes your car longer to get back to you. Uh, that is a fact of life, unfortunately. Uh, if you connect to a server in Germany, it will be quicker than if you connect to a server in Singapore. Uh, Singapore will be quicker than going all the way to Australia. That's just the way it is. Uh, Ivacy VPN, the guys I mentioned at the beginning of this video, have sponsored this video, so I am telling you about them specifically because I've tried it out and I like it. I think it is good. I wouldn't be telling you about it otherwise. Uh, so they have won awards for their speed. That's the first thing I should point out. Uh, I've had that ratified by a NASA scientist for some reason. I'm not sure why he needs to be a NASA scientist. Um, I'm not sure why he's reviewing VPNs, but he is and he is. Other aspects of this service are an internet kill switch, so if you are using your VPN and the VPN tunnel between you and them drops, it will kill your internet connection, which will hopefully be a good thing. <laughs> this is obviously only going to be a good thing if you're not doing something important at the time, uh, but it will stop your internet connection and keep you protected. It gives you that little bit of a guarantee. Uh, that is an option you can turn on or not turn on. Entirely up to you. Uh, these guys actually invented split tunneling. This is where you can tell it, this application should go down my VPN, but this application should use my internet service provider as usual. So you could say, I want uh, my BitTorrent client to use Ivacy because I'm a dirty pirate, but I want my Google Chrome to use my internet service provider so that there's no slowdown in speed. That is fairly ingenious. If you're some kind of privacy lunatic, then you perhaps don't want your bank details on file. If that's the case, you can just pay them using a cryptocurrency. I should stress, there's nothing illegal about anything that you're doing here. There's no reason you can't sign up to a VPN supplier. That's a perfectly legal thing to do. But if you really don't want any kind of traceability, they will accept that stuff too. Their terms and conditions actually state that they will only log your email address that you sign up with uh, and your payment details, and that's it. There's no logging of where you've been. There's no logging of anything you've done. Uh, that is all included in the privacy policy in black and white. They do not track that stuff. Uh, all that said, this is a really good VPN solution as VPN solutions go. So if you're interested in it, there are links in the description where you can click on it and get it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. Uh, come and hang out with me at the whole Instagrams and Twitters and Facebooks and those sorts of things. Uh, and if you want to make these videos a possibility like these amazing people here, these are my patrons. And you can be one at Patreon or buy me a beer as a one-off payment at PayPal. And I'll see you next time. Do you need a... Great start.
So if you're like ultra desperate to stay cryptocurrency or anything you like, I don't think they accept things that aren't money, but I've said, oh, damn it. <laughs>